In this video we will cover some of the basics of AutoCAD by drawing some example letters from the letters exercise PDF. We are going to draw seven letters so let's start a new drawing and we'll just choose the ACAD.DWT template file and open and before we draw anything we will save the drawing so choose an appropriate folder to save that in and let's call it letters exercise.dwg and hit save. So we're going to draw seven letters and each of the letters fits within a rectangle that is shaped 100 millimeters by 150. So let's use the rectangle tool up here and first of all we'll draw that rectangle so 100 comma 150 enter and let's just maximize that out a bit okay so we'll move it up a bit from the UCS just to keep it out of the way and we'll change the color of that just to red and also by right clicking we will change the draw order and send it to the back and we'll just copy that over a number of times so that we can draw these letters. So let's put a distance in between. Um, so I'm copying it over with the polar on here so it's on a horizontal line. You need to make sure that you do that. Uh, so 200, then 400, 600, 800, 1000, and 1200. That should be 7. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And within those rectangles, we'll draw all of the different letters. The first letter we're going to draw is the letter A. So let's start off by using the line tool up here. And as the base point for that, we'll start at the bottom left hand corner and move across with the polar snap on. Notice when I'm drawing, again, that polar snap is on. So 18 is the length. And then we need a copy of that on the other side, so let's use the copy tool to copy that over to the other side of the rectangle. And then once we have that, we can draw a selection window. Notice when you draw a selection window that way, the line is solid. And the colour inside the rectangle or a selection window is blue, whereas if you draw it the other way, it is a green shaded area and the line outline is dashed. So when you draw it this way, it selects things that are completely enclosed in the selection window. Now to be able to make sure you copy that from point to point, you need to check this toggle button down here. These are toggle buttons at the bottom of the screen. And this one is the object snap one. So if you right click on that with the mouse, you can check which object snap settings you have active. So I recommend end point, midpoint, center. I'm just going to add quadrant because we will need it for one of the other letters. Intersection, extension and perpendicular. Those are the seven I would normally have up. Click back out and that brings us out. So the line is still selected. Let's use the copy tool there on this one. And copy from the midpoint with a little triangle showing there up to the midpoint of the rectangle at the top. And then if we use the line tool that allows us to draw the leg. Now don't offset by 18 because that will not be the right distance. We need to use the copy tool and copy it from one side to the other of one of those lines. To get the other leg on the other side we can use this tool, the mirror tool, and use the midpoint of the line at the top. In this case we want to keep the source object so click no and then we can draw a line at the bottom to help us get the, the cross bar member as such for the A. Uh, let's use the offset tool. The distance as you can see on the PDF is 36. So let's offset that up. And then we can hit enter again to repeat the command but this time the distance needs to be 18. So 18 enter. And we can copy that or offset that up. We can now delete the line at the bottom and we can delete the rectangle. And then if we use the trim tool, that allows us to trim out by selecting all the lines. It allows us to trim out all the pieces that we no longer need. 
so you can at times draw selection windows to help you achieve that you just need to be careful click the individual bits if you need to so that is the letter A finished the next letter we're going to draw is the letter B so let's draw a line down the left hand side and draw an extra long line out both sides here and one in the center and what we can do is we can use a tool called the fillet tool here and by clicking on these two lines that will actually create a semicircle the right size for the side of the B so if we use the move tool and use the midpoint we can move that over to the perpendicular there and then rather than copy that down at this point I'm going to finish the top part and then mirror it down so let's use the offset tool it's already set to 18 so hit enter and we can just offset those two lines we can offset the semicircle and also the line on the side and then if we use the trim tool uh, we'll just pick the inside lines for now and trim off these parts like so okay and then we can also um, trim off that top line there and we can delete this line we can now also delete this line and all we need to do is select the lines at the top including the one that sits on top of the red line and if we use the mirror tool that will allow us to yeah if I manage to select them all that would have worked uh, so use the mirror tool for the other lines and that will complete the letter B we can delete the rectangle the letter C is next then so we're going to use the rectangle tool and just draw another rectangle over the top of the red one and let's use the fillet tool and where it says select first object or press the down arrow key on the keyboard and choose the radius and if you check the PDF that is 37.5 millimeters and we can use the top line and the side line to fill at that edge hit enter and just keep going round the rectangle to provide the curves or the fillets now that will be useful later for the letter Q and I know I want to put it in this rectangle here so I'm just going to copy that over use the copy tool here and put it there it's useful this exact shape is useful for letter O as well as letter Q but we're only going to draw Q later um, we can use the offset tool it's already set to 18 hit enter and select the outline make sure you offset it in the way rather than out the way so in the way like so then we draw a line in the middle just from midpoint to midpoint on this side and the gap in the middle is 75 so if we offset by 37.5 this time and offset both directions like that again we can use the trim tool select those two lines and trim out like so it has also trimmed the rectangle but we don't need that anyway so we can delete this line and delete the rectangle and now we have the first three letters done and then we can move on to the next one the next letter we're going to draw is the letter J so let's just draw a line along the top of the rectangle here we can offset that by 18 and just while we're doing that let's fill in the two little bits of lines on the end of the cross member there and let's draw a line down the center and let's just draw another one uh, here at this point in time what we need to do is make or give this a thickness so that should be 18 thick which means we need to offset by 9 in both directions like so then we can delete that line and what we then need to do is uh, use the 
fillet tool and click on that line and this one Let's need to use it a bit further down so like that we can then move that bottom circle up and then we can also offset by 18 here uh, well actually let's just offset circle in like so and um, we know that we need a line 48 millimeters up from the bottom here so rather than offset we can hover over that point move up and that is showing beside the cursor there you'll read it says extension so if we type in 48 that will pick up that extension point and we can draw a line directly out here then we can draw another line up to meet that and um, we have all the parts of the, the letter that we need. We just need to delete the bits that we don't need anymore. So let's trim those off. Trim that bottom part off first before doing the, the, the interim part. And there we have the letter J finished. The letter M is the next letter that we'll do. There's a bit more to it but it shouldn't be too tricky if we just take our time. So let's draw a line from the bottom left hand corner first of all and make it 18 long. And then we can copy that over to the other side for the leg at that point. We can also copy both of those lines up to the top and then we also need two more lines in the middle so let's copy those two to the middle and we have six points where we can connect all the other lines to so one line down the side here for the leg um, we can offset that by 18 and then again we can mirror those two lines over to the far side and then let's do the the line from this point down to here and from that point back up again we can just draw that manually or you can mirror it if you wish that point actually wasn't really needed so we'll delete that and we can delete the rectangle and all we need to do now is just trim out the different parts that we have drawn that we don't need like so so that is letter M done and there's just two more to go so within AutoCAD we copied over the letter C outline and it's the same shape that you need for the letter O and also Q so on route to getting the Q we will also draw uh, the letter O anyway so let's offset by 18 and when we have that outline that is effectively the, the letter O at this point but we're wanting to draw Q so we can draw a line from this point down here and if you have your polar set so I've just right clicked down there and rather than choosing the default of only 90 degree options you can select this one here which will allow you to choose 45 degree angles also so if you have that activated um, that will allow you to draw a line from this point up in and if you notice in this case the dimension that you need to enter is not actually the angle it is the length of the line so checking on the PDF the length of that line needs to be 71 so that's the correct length and then the leg of the, the tick part is 18 thick so we can offset by 9 in both directions and then if we draw a line across the top like so and then a line from the intersection and to the other intersection that will allow us to now delete the rectangle and use the trim tool 
to finish off uh, the letter, like so. A little bit of trial and error might be needed just to get that 100% accurate. But we can trim out all the parts we don't need. And there we have the letter Q. The final letter we're going to draw is the letter S. So it can be a little bit tricky, but if we take our time, it'll be okay. Maybe watch the video a couple of times and that will help. So I've simply drawn a rectangle over the top of the other one. And because we need to draw different parts of the letter S, I'm going to use this Explode tool here. Click on Explode and that separates the four sides of the rectangle up. Then we can use the Offset tool. And first of all we'll use a distance of 18 at the top, the two sides and the bottom and we also need the, the middle part of the S so let's use a line across the middle and we'll offset by 9 again this time like so. So that's the basic parts of the shape that we need. Starting off at the top and working our way down then we'll use the fillet tool and let's just check what the radius is set for. So 37.5 is what we need. So let's use the crossbar at the top and the line on the side here. And just at the end where that arc meets the line is where the S finishes. So let's draw a line in there. We can clearly see what's happening at this point. Um, that might be might be useful just to try and select the rectangle there. It's interfering slightly. So let's just right click draw order send to the back and let's just select the rectangle and delete it, we don't need it at this point um, we'll use the fillet tool again to just go around the outside part of the S and again we can take this line and to the bottom one now when the curve changes to come around here it's the top line that we need so this time top line to the side, the side to the bottom and then we can use the offset tool to offset by 18 to get some of the curves just for the other parts of the S. Keep going round selecting all the parts that we need and you can now see the S shape in the background there we just need to delete some of the, the parts that we don't need anymore uh, but it's advisable to do that carefully that line is needed here for example and that line is needed up there so let's use the trim tool and just go around carefully individually trimming out all the parts that we don't need so for example if you trim that part it's going to leave you maybe a little bit here and there or if we trim that part it's going to leave you a part here you can't actually trim that's created a little line that you'll have to come back and delete later just showing you that's what happens when you don't trim it right from the end. So we can trim out all these parts like so. Sometimes as I said it'll leave little parts of lines that we don't want anymore. Technically actually we should have had the curve at this point here. Um, so that's been done wrong. Let's maybe just fix that now. Fill it. Radius is 37.5. Okay. So let's use that line. Uh, it's not long enough. Okay. Let's make it longer. Use the fillet tool. Offset by 18. Okay. the bottom like that. So trim, delete some of these pieces. What can be deleted? And we can continue to trim off some of the other parts. Just methodically getting rid of all the bits that we don't need. And any 
bits that are left over at the end can just be deleted. A couple more pieces here and there just to delete. I've deleted one part by accident. Let's fill that in. And there we have seven letters. So from that, you should be able to work out most of the tools and commands on how to draw all the other letters and finish those. Thanks for watching.